Speaking of, Chair, Sheriff Ch uh, Chad Cronister is joining us this morning, Hillsborough County Sheriff. Uh, Sheriff Cronister, thank you so much for joining us. You've been so generous with your time as we've uh, waited this storm, throughout the storm, and now as we kind of wait to see the aftermath today, that sunlight's going to give us a whole lot more perspective. Well, yeah, so Sheriff, we were, you were here yesterday. We talked to you about all of the preparations. All right, now we put the plan into motion. What is it looking like for you and your deputies here this morning? Good morning, Caitlin. Good morning, Josh. Yeah, this is just as much a heavy lift as it was trying to evacuate people and get people into the shelter. And I tell you what, I, I'm going to continue to say how proud I am for our community and the way they prepared and the way they responded. Even as that window closed last night, around four or five, we had another thousand people uh, rush into the shelters. But uh, yeah, today today's a heavy lift. We had 350 uh, weather-related calls for service. I did have to suspend service close to 8 p.m and uh, make the deputies come back until about 4 a.m. Um, but, again, this is, this is when it's going to get busy for us, and this is when a lot of residents will want to come back to their evacuated areas. And I can tell you I've, um, I'm out here driving around now, and uh, there's a lot of areas without power. We have almost 300,000 people without power. There's a lot of downed trees. Um, we did have a great rest night uh, before the storm really got bad. We had a gentleman who was out clearing um, some debris around a tree, and the tree actually fell on. Oh. Our deputies went out there and cut the tree off of him, and we rushed him to the hospital, and he's going to be just fine. Oh, good. Thank God. Now, I also saw on your on your social media pages, Twitter, uh, helping an, an elderly woman here, too, kind of in the midst of this storm. She was worried about her own home. You guys were trying to get out and about as much as you could. Of course, when it became too dangerous to be on the roadways and too dangerous to help, that's when you guys uh, have to heed your own warnings. But, um, but tell us a little bit about what you were seeing during the storm in terms of response and i'm sure today it's going to get busy once daylight comes uh and we'll be out we're, our, our main focus then is to make sure we search and rescue make sure that we don't have anyone trapped inside their home we'll help with that make sure that uh, the the road and the debris is clear uh, there's a ton of trees down as i drove through south tampa and came up to Ebor City, the headquarters. It's uh, There's a lot of downed trees, and we're not out of the woods yet. I think we still have some low-lying areas with some flooding. But I have to tell you what, as, as the conversation shifted from Monday till now, we are so fortunate, so blessed. And I talked to my fellow sheriffs down in Lee County, Charlotte County, where the eye and where the storm came and uh, on shore, and, and it's 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 total catastrophic loss and devastation. And my, my heart and prayers go out to them. I, and I know that, you know, you all were prepared for the worst case scenario, which was that. And luckily, we, we, we don't have to deal with that here. But yeah, exactly. Our hearts go out to them. Sheriff, I, I got to ask, and I know people are, are watching. They're getting up this morning. People are getting antsy. When can we go out? You guys have a process for, for, for assessing mm -hmm. and, and making sure things are clear before you're going to advise that people can get back out on the roadways. But I mean, is it even possible to give people at home a timeline of when they might be able to start moving about again safely? Great question. Thanks for bringing that up. There's no reason to go out right now. I mean, there's nothing open. Open. There, the schools closed. Courthouses closed. There's no reason to be on the roadways right now. And if you stay off the roadways, that gives us time. We can actually be more expeditious. And whatever down power lines we have, down trees. If you don't have to fight with traffic or people who just want to go out because their curiosity is getting the best of them, that does nothing but slow us down. To answer your question, we will get you an answer as quick as possible. As soon as daylight comes and we can assess the damage, we'll talk to the county administrator, and we certainly will get that information back to you when we feel it's safe. Hey, everyone, we can start opening up. We can start getting back to our, 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 our new normal uh, start today. Yeah, Sheriff Cronister, thank you so much. I know you guys have been working around the clock, you, you in particular, too, but uh, putting it in perspective, it's just after 6 o'clock in the morning, so the day is just beginning. Got a long day a ahead long of us. Day ahead of assessment. We really appreciate your time. I know you've got a lot of work ahead of for you and thank you for your efforts and thank you for your whole team. We really appreciate you guys.